Hey guys, welcome to another Master That Riff lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to show you some early King's X and we'll look at how to play loss in Germany. So tuning wise, um, I'm drop D for this. So I've got my E string down to D. And then standard tuning after that, I've got my A string. D, G, B, and E. Okay. So, this is all based around a little kind of uh, A7 idea. Here. So what Ty Tabor is doing to begin with is this, this little chord here. So he's playing open A string, 5th fret the D string, and then 7th fret the G string there. So it's kind of like an A7 sus4, you know, that's your ring, that's your flat 7 and that's like your 4 there. And then he moves that note in the G string back to the 6th fret there. And I'm playing that with a down and an upstroke. So the upstroke basically hits the G and the D strings. Yeah. Then he plays this little thing. So what I'm going to do is the same thing again. I'm playing five in the D, seven in that G string. I use the first and fourth here. I'm going to hit those strings and pull off the seven to the six in the G string. Yeah. Then I play seven on the D string. Like that. Probably with a downstroke and a downstroke. Okay. Then I'm going to play this. So I'm playing pretty much like a little D power chord here, but arpeggiated. So I'm playing 5th fret of the D string, sorry, the A string, and then 7th fret of the D string. Again, I use 1st and 4th finger. Back to 5th fret on the A string and slide to 4. So it's like a 3 E and a. Okay, so so far we have this. Okay. Then I'm going to play this. So what I'm going to do here is play 7th fret of that E string with the 4th finger, 4th fret of the A string, open D string, open G string, and then 2nd fret of the uh, D string there. Okay. So picking wise I tend to do down, 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 up, down. It's got a little bit of economy picking there. But you don't want it to ring out like that, you have to kind of arpeggiate it. So it has a kind of popier kind of sound to it, yeah? So, so far we have this. Okay. Now the cool thing about this riff is the kind of rhythmical, kind of displaced kind of feel of it. He then plays the bit again, like a 16th before you anticipate it basically. So we play this all again. You know, that bit there, so we're doing a pull off, holding the 5th fret of the D string, 7th fret of the G, pull off to 6th in that G string there with the 4th, the 2nd finger. Then I'm doing my 7 on the D string, and then my half, uh, my little D power chord thing. 5 in the D, 7 in, sorry, 5 in the A, can't believe I did it again. 5 in the A, 7 in the D, back to 5 in the A. Slide. And then this time I'm going to play 7, 0 on that D string. And then I'm going to play a nice big fat D tie table power chord here. So I'm basically playing open D, A, D, and I've got 2nd fret of that G string and 3rd fret of the B string, my 1st and 3rd fingers. Okay. And that's pretty much your 2 bar riff, so slowly, sounds like this. Okay, and you pretty much repeat that again before kind of the verse starts, it's just when you get to your D power chord at the end, you just let it sustain for another 2 beats. And it goes into the verse, yeah. Really, really cool riff. I was listening to a bit of King's X the other day, so I thought, why not? This is such a cool riff. Why not look at it? So, have fun with that, guys. If you want access to the animated tab for this, the Sound Slice page, or if you want the Helix patch, or basically how I came up with the tone for this, go and check out Master the Guitar on Patreon. All that info is there available to uh, my patrons. And you get access to all the other lesson materials that are on there for the Master that Solo, Master that Lick. Uh, the gear demos, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can also follow me on uh, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram as well. Some things up there that you won't see on YouTube. And of course, uh, if you're not subscribed, if this is your first time here, guys, hit that subscription button, hit the notification bell so you're kept up to date with any uploads that I do. Okay, so have fun with that, guys. Always good to do a bit of King's X, and I'll see you soon.